There are four types of bridges. The beam bridge, which is the simplest bridge and resists twists and bends. The suspension bridge was the first one built and it's very expensive due to its strength. The arc bridge is stone-based and weight transfers outwards. The cantilever bridge is built like a truss bridge which bears under and above the roadway. There are three roadways, the deck, which is when the pedestrian walks or surface of a bridge. It is an integral part of the bridge structure and it's supported with L-beams or stell girders. The through roadway has supporting members above the roadway and traffic travels through the superstructure, which is usually a truss, which is cross braced above and below the traffic. The pony roadway has supporting members above and below the roadway Traffic travels between parallel structures that are not cross-braced at the top. There are three truss bridges. The Pratt, which is known for the inwardly inverted diagonals towards the center of the span. The Howe truss is designed to combine diagonal compression members and vertical iron rod tension members. The Warren truss is not the most popular, but uses equilateral triangles in order to spread the weight out evenly. There are five forces. Tension is the stretching which puts the bridge in tension, almost like pulling on a rope. Shear force is often compared with scissors. The two handles put force in different directions. Compression is, os- is often compared when a weightlifter finds the weight that when the compression is above his own head. Torsion is when the force causes the object to bend. Bending is when compression on the top and tension on the top and bottom causes the bridge to bend. The design procedure was very simple. We first used West Point Bridge Design to start our design. We then transferred it onto vector work. After putting both sides together, we attached the two and began to prepare to test. The bridges were put together with Gorilla Glue and Hot Glue and uses two and a quarter inch pieces of balsa wood to connect the two sides. Each side had to be exactly symmetrical so that the force would be 